welcome to the United States of America. This vlog is going to be a bit different because I decided to add a voiceover. I'm just trying to live life and record it as I go. So I was not very good with speaking in this video and I hope you enjoyed. Anyway, I'm bad at gifts, but if there's one thing I know, that is nobody can say no to chocolate. When in doubt, go brown. You can quote me on this. And then I went to an Indian restaurant in Gonob. The only one that serves dishes other than just chicken tikka masala and cheese naans. It's called Lescal and Yen, in case you ever find yourself in Grenoble, which uh, I doubt. But I mean, if you do, because nobody comes to visit Grenoble, everyone wants to go to Paris. Anyway, everything here was great. We got pakoras and uh, tofu badami, mixed veg and kulchas. The dosha, by the way, was the saddest looking thing in the world though. Never get it in that restaurant. And yes, I call it dosha. That's how we say it in Kerala. Don't at me. And uh, this was a great meal in the end. Yeah, at least the ambience was pretty. And then I went shopping because I needed to get a selfie stick so that I can be a proper tourist in San Francisco. And this is what I got. I got a camera bag and a selfie stick with a stand. One of my favorite things to do in winter in Europe is to visit the Christmas market because it's just so beautiful and if not for anything else, just a warm cup of malt wine that's, uh, that's actually wine cooked on low heat with spices and oranges and it's just so comforting. this Christmas deco. Christmas time is just so beautiful in Europe. Then I went to sleep and this is next day morning. I'm all ready to catch my bus to the airport. It's about a one hour ride from where I live and I was freezing on my way to the bus stop. So here the audio is like super horrible. So what I'm trying to say is that I have a long journey ahead, a one hour bus ride, then a two hour flight to London, where I have a two hour layover, and then an 11 hour flight to San Francisco from London, and then a cab ride to my host for the week. Which by the way, did I tell you, I'm actually going to San Francisco for work. My client needed me to fly down and shoot some videos for her upcoming cookbook release. And yes, I'm also a freelance videographer. That's what pays my bills, not YouTube, lol. The only thing YouTube does is help me connect with you, my BBB. By the way, if I can, I always pack my food while traveling because I'm not paying a fortune for a sad looking wrap at the airport. This was breakfast time, so you can see me eat a thick PB&J sandwich because I need my PB&J hit to survive this day. I did buy some fresh coffee though because I might be stingy, but I have my limits. long flights but luckily my whole row was empty so I could just elongate myself and lie down however I wanted There was so much turbulence on this first flight that even though I'm trying to look brave here, I was secretly cursing myself for not riding my wheel. It's funny how I only think about my non-existence only when I'm flying and not once do I think about that when I'm jaywalking for example. Anyway, I did pack a lot of snacks and protein bars because the in-flight options for vegans is always a plate of extreme sadness.
Oh yay, and here we are. Stay tuned for the next one.